Hello, this is Louis from Hackride and uh, we are in Germany today. This is uh, Jürgen Munkebe from the Norwegian band Shining and I'm also in Germany today. <laughs> We're on tour. We've been on tour uh, for two and a half weeks, yeah. I think. Yeah, we I have think so too. two more shows left. Yeah. And we're in tour with Hackride, Shining, uh, Tides Band, from Nebula. Yeah, and uh, the Ocean from Germany. <coughs> it's been great. Yeah, 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 it's been really cool. Yeah, so that was the first question actually. <laughs> How did the tour go so far? Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, really good. Uh, we are a lot of bands, we're four, a lot of people, yeah. almost 30 people. Uh, so in the beginning, it was uh, it took some days to figure out how to, to make work, it work with each other. Yeah. yeah, and also on the stage, you know, get uh, all the changeovers to yeah. really, really short, 15 minutes. So. Uh, and yeah, the whole I, sound check, line check thing in the beginning was. Mm. And who's using bit, yeah. what equipment? Are we sharing drums or not? That mm. kind of stuff. But after a couple of days, um, uh, we got into system. And, yeah. And since then, the, yeah, the, the same every day. Do, 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 like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So it's been really good. Yeah. Fun. And the ru the routine that we are into right now is working much faster than it was and uh, yeah. yeah it feels like we're on a, we're um, we've become a machine yeah all together yeah. Yeah. so it's been good nice so um how was the crowd response on the show and do you guys have a very show so far well the crowd response was um rather good almost everywhere we went i think i mean there was a lot of people showing up every time and uh the atmosphere, I mean, the audience uh, response was great, I thought. And I did have like a few favorite cities that we played in, like uh, I really liked the show in Porto, oh, in yeah. Portugal. Yeah, I thought, that was uh, really good. Yeah, and the, the, the way that, um, uh, I mean, we, I, I felt very welcome there for some reason and I really liked the city and uh, mm. yeah, so I have a very good memory of that show. And it was a great venue, the room itself Yeah, was nice and the audience was amazing and uh, I think I don't know I don't remember but I guess the sound was good and so, so to me that was also a bit, very big, big cool show for us uh, mm. I liked even on the other side of the scale I liked Rome even though in Porto everything was like in order I mm. think yeah I know what you mean while in Rome nothing was <laughs> <laughs> in order but still uh, still a great show any, any other ones <coughs> you, rem you remember? I remember Munich. Yeah, yeah. I remember Munich because I know that the uh, yeah the audience was just uh, very responsive, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I remember the venue yesterday because it was just unique in terms of organization. Yeah. The technical team, everyone. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just perfect. And yesterday yeah. was in. Uh, 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 <laughs> Essen. 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 Yeah. But I also remember Switzerland winter tour in Switzerland. To me, that oh, yeah. was also that was very professional really as well. good food, prof really professional. So those are the ones that stand out, the ones that were nothing was working. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when we, yeah, in, where was that? Somewhere in, in Italy where we arrived at seven, eight o'clock, oh. nothing worked. Yeah. <laughs> and we yeah, were yeah. like 10 hours late. That's, that's the kind of stuff you remember. And also that, the was, word, in, that was in Turin. Yeah. I think. Yeah. And then also the ones that were everything worse. So, so it's been good, but uh, but on tour it's like uh, Nine Inch Nails has a song that uh, with the chorus it says every day is exactly the same, and I feel that that's uh, that's how it is on tour. It's uh, you wake up in a new city and you don't really know where you are, mm. and then there's another show, same thing again. So sometimes the, it gets a bit blurry, you know. Yeah, it does get very blurry. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, but a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of favorite shows. Okay, uh, so what are the five most important items to bring on the tour? What is your oh, life saving? It's easy. The, the, well, go, go for yeah, it. Go the for first it. two items air plug for left air, yeah, air I, plug I for right air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the ones that you sleep with. Not the, um, uh, I have a bunch of air plugs. I have uh, the ones in air monitors. Yeah, me too. Um, there are, they're for stage. 
uh, they dampen the sound from outside, but they also have uh, speakers inside, so you can hear uh, stuff that the sound engineer sends you. And then I have uh, ordinary uh, audio plugs that are molded for my ears that are dampening the sound with only filters. And then, but all of, both of them are kind of uh, painful to sleep with, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. So I have this kind of silicon thing, big ones, so they don't get stuck in my ear can canal. So that I bought, like, and those are my. Your sleeping airplanes. Yeah, those are the most important thing on tour, I think. Uh, this bus has been pretty, pretty silent. Last tour we did in the U.S., we mm -hmm. had this bus that was so fucking loud. You mean that I, the motor was like making a lot of noise. Yeah, the motor and the bus and the air condition, everything. It was the loudest thing I've ever heard. Uh, and so I woke up every day, even with the plugs, and I felt like I've been, good. I was deaf, you know. Uh, but mm. on airplanes and it just helps you sleep. So that's my. Uh, I get two to sleep with. I don't know. Uh, well, that's my the biggest thing for me on tour. Well, how about you? I think. Uh, well, I wear contact lenses. Oh, same with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many do you bring? <laughs> well, I, actually, I switched from uh, daily contacts to uh, monthly contacts. So, so I just need to buy a lot of products, like a uh, watery product to clean them. Oh, is it taking them off? You take yeah. them off every I day? I take them off every day uh, when I'm sleeping and before getting to bed. Oh, yeah. And I put them on, back them oh, yeah. on, I mean, I put them back on in the morning. Oh, yeah, I see. And, uh, yeah, they're definitely uh, extremely important to me yeah. because otherwise uh, yeah. I have to wear glasses or I yeah. just don't see anything yeah, 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 when yeah. I'm on stage. So. I have, uh, I don't know what they're called, but I have uh, something. I put on new ones every day. Mm, yeah. And I always make sure that I have enough in my hand baggage that I bring on the plane. And also the same in my in the stuff that I'm sending in case one of them get lost yeah, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, on yeah. the way down to because we flew here. Yeah. Well, uh, that's... Uh, and then I guess... Uh, Basic hygiene products like uh, you know a toothbrush, toothpaste. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I bring actually I bring protein bars, the, the kind of uh, chocolate <laughs> bars, uh, because they uh, because you think on tour that it's easy to get stuff, mm. you know. You can always, you're in the city, you can always get uh, toothpaste, whatever, you can get something to eat. But the fact is that you, you're always short on time and just trying to find the store might take you an hour, mm. you know. So I bring those small items and the protein bars is just for the days that you don't have time to find the place to eat. And it, there's no food on backstage, which ha has happened quite it a bit. Has happened, yeah. yeah. So that's better to eat than just chocolate, mm. even though it would be better with a proper meal. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, it's like the survival kit. Right? I, w I wish it was these kind of NASA things that they, you know, like stuff. I wish I had these meals that they eat on the moon. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, like, the, like the magic pill that so what, what fills we, your belly up. What we have instead is like multivitamin and, and I had, and I buy this C vitamin. Stuff. Yeah, I'm also to, taking the vitamin C. Uh, yeah, because uh, as much you get, as I can. you know, on tour you get sick. We, yeah. I actually managed not to get sick, but your bus, everybody's become sick. I was sick like oh, the second day after I arrived. Yeah. And the store started and my nose was already <laughs> yeah. running, so I've been struggling with the sickness yeah. ever since the beginning of the tour. Yeah. And with them uh, coming back home in four days, now probably feel. Uh, Sure, finally. Yeah. Uh, and then I don't have to sing anymore, so what's no. the point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of ideas <coughs> for you. Yeah. Okay, so do you guys have some funny tour stories or something like you just remember right now? It's usually easier to remember after the tour. Yeah. I think. But uh, do you remember something? I have uh, some kind of a story, I guess. Uh, I don't know if it's a funny one, but <laughs> it definitely is a story. It's uh, it, it happened like um, uh, maybe four nights ago or something. There was, it was, we had this German driver, and it was um, I mean, he's been with us since pretty much the beginning of the tour, and um, I think it was back in uh, I don't know before Switzerland. Anyways, so he decides to get drunk. Because it was after, it was after uh, uh, Slovenia. 
yeah after slovenia so yeah. he decides to get drunk and have fun because he obviously is not working anymore so uh, he gets really wasted <laughs> we come back to the bus he keeps on drinking and then he falls asleep right here like on the on the yeah. bench or on the table and so um, uh, some of us decide to <laughs> write some shit on his face with a big with a black pen really simple nice things you know like just uh, whatever you know we actually wrote tcb which means taking care of business <laughs> elvis is you know elvis is a uh, uh, you call that like a, anyways that was the sentence that i think he was wearing tcb on his belt oh, yeah. during the concerts oh, yeah. anyways so we write this on his face and then he wakes up at like <laughs> uh, six or seven in the morning and um, goes to the bathroom comes back and he's all is so pissed yeah. like he's really really angry at us and so he's pretty pretty much starts saying well uh, I want to know who did that on my face, yeah. who painted my face, and uh, the guy has to say it's him, otherwise uh, we're just, uh, we're not moving anymore and yeah. the bus stays here. Yeah. So everybody had to get out of the bus, I mean, he woke up, every, I mean, he woke everybody up, yeah. and we had to go out, and then we, it was actually four of us who did it, so yeah. it was not like, uh, it was not really a scary thing to say that was yeah. me, uh -huh. and anyways, what a childish and stupid thing to do, I mean, but you don't get angry about it because that's the number one rule in a tour bus don't fall asleep on the table i mean yeah. right in the um in the living area, in the living area. Yeah. and so uh yeah that was, it felt pretty strange because yeah. yeah it was like seven in the morning and i wanted to get to bed and then this crazy thing happened yeah i feel i feel it's weird uh weird uh, uh having a driver that's wasted Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. he wasn't driving, obviously. He wasn't driving at no, that time. You need to maintain a certain level of professionalism or, yeah. I mean, a certain distance. Yeah. I'm not saying that, that, uh, I'm not saying that it's uh, uh, a cool thing to, <laughs> to write stuff in, in, for, in other people's faces. <laughs> no. But, uh, but I'm saying that when I heard that, I was thinking, I was thinking, shit, that's, uh, I'm not, like you're saying, I'm not sure if it's a funny story, but it's an interesting, it's a... It definitely it's, a, it's a toy story, really. <laughs> I'll definitely remember that for yeah. a long time, I think. Yeah, I saw some pictures of that and I'll remember it too. <laughs> uh, yeah, apart from that, I just... Uh, yeah, and then, then there's this story that we where we came to Turin, or, mm. to Turin at 8 o'clock and... Uh, and the time schedule for the day said get in at 12 o'clock something like that <laughs> so that was pretty crazy yeah but like i say i think when we come home we'll remember more stories yeah probably we'll come back this is just like every day is exactly the same seems like now hmm. yeah. okay so how do you feel the band's different musical styles work together uh I think it's been really good. You can see from the from the crowd that uh, that it, that all the bands different musical styles to work for the crowd. And sometimes if you're a support band or if you're the main band and have a support band, you might sometimes you feel that <sighs> that the crowd likes one type of music but mm. not the other one. But this seemed to be you know, I, all the four bands are different, which I think is good because having two, three, or four bands that are the same is boring. It's really boring. Mm. Uh, so they are pretty different, and I like that. Uh, but they're also different in a good way, so the people in the audience can like all four bands. Um, to us, it's been really good. Um, I guess it's been good for you too. That you feel that yeah. the audience has been responsive to your music. Yeah, also. yeah, completely. And yeah, we, there's definitely uh, some kind of a underlying common uh, approach to music between mm. the four bands, but it doesn't manifest itself musically uh, mm. in the in the same way at all. It's like, mm. yeah, it's like yeah. I guess we're more into. I mean, High Cred is more of a death metal slash progressive kind of band. I guess. Yeah. Uh, Tides from Nebula is more trippy, uh, softer, psychedelic yeah. and softer, and you guys have this... Even softer. Y oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
yeah, we're all over the place. And uh, yeah, no, I think it's I think it's been really good. Uh, like I said, it's not always like that. No. So, uh, and I've also seen that that uh, I talk to people afterwards, and they come to me and say, "Hey, I, I, uh, I've never heard about you before. I came to see Hack Ride, you know." Uh, well, and that's usually usually when you're on uh, on a tour. Oh, anyway, I'm I'm saying that, and I talk to people that comes with like a shining T-shirt also. So I've seen that people are coming to the show to see different types of bands, you know, mm. uh, which I think is good for everyone. Yeah. Then yeah. we can play for for the Ocean's audience and they can have play for Hack Ride's audience or our audience, uh, which is good for everyone. It's yeah, I good. think so too. Cool. And uh, last question, what's a typical day on tour for you and uh, the rest of your bandmates? It's. Uh, I think it's. Um, there is a lot of different people on the tour. Uh, some people mm. go, uh, get up in the morning and go for a run, uh, like they jog around the city, and uh, and some people go to bed really late mm. and almost don't get up till get in. You know. Uh, so, but for me. Or after. Or after, usually after when everybody's loaded. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's, I started out like uh, with our drummer and uh, our guitar player uh, jogging a couple of days a week, um, and I try to I try to eat healthy. I try to try you know you try to find a place where you can find an internet. Uh, Reuters, yeah. so you can answer your email stuff like that's that. That's definitely uh, what everybody's searching for. Yeah, yeah, and then we're 30 people, so when you yeah. when the bands find one, it's crowded, so you don't can't do anything anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would say, but that that's the common thing. But there's a lot of different things. I uh, some people do some exercise. Some people uh, oversleep. Oversleep. Some people try to rehearse your drummer. He's uh, yeah, he's, he's like a healthy guy, so he yeah, goes for a run. He's a very healthy guy, so he goes for a run and then he starts beating on the. I mean, practicing Pats, and he yeah. practices for all day. Yeah, all day, pretty mm. much until the show. I, for instance, I change my strings on my guitar every day. That's not really uh, common, but I do that because I uh, our shows is so full of action. So I sing and I play the sax and I play the guitar and then. I don't want. I don't have. A, I don't want to break a string during a show. Yeah. I do yeah. have a backup guitar, but I usually haven't had one. But on this tour, I do. <coughs> but I change every day, and uh, that takes me some time. And I have to check my my wireless transmitter. I have three mm. transmitters, and I want to check if the frequencies are available. You know. So basically, my t my day is just. It gets swallowed by all this practical stuff, and then if there is some time left, I want to see if I can find a grocery store to buy. Uh, what's this? Fruits, drinks, and uh, yogurts and stuff like that. So, uh, to me, that's the, that's mm -hmm. a day on tour. It's just it's just gone. Yeah, you, know? Know? <laughs> you yeah. think that you can do something. Time but goes I never... by really quickly, yeah. and. Uh... You don't even realize it, and you're already on stage playing. So, mm. and uh, what, what's interesting about that question is, if you haven't been on tour, and even me, when when it's been some time since I since I've been on tour, I'm always planning for stuff to do on tour. I bring a book. I bring, I bring stuff that work that I want to do, and the songs mm. to write, or because I think I'll have extra time to do it. And but you when you while on tour you don't have any extra time. Yeah, I completely agree. I have brought two books with me and I haven't <laughs> even opened no. a page, you know. And then after a couple of weeks you get really tired. Mm. Like I think everybody on the tour now are really tired. Oh yeah. So I'm but, exhausted. So the thought of just having cool. a <laughs> That was Magic from uh Tides from Nebula. Nice. He just woke up. At yeah. <laughs> one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's uh, so the interesting thing is that yeah, the, my guys. We think that we might have time. 
Marche. Oh, that's right. We're doing an interview. What? <laughs> We're doing an interview. Really? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were just talking. But we, uh, you think you have time to work, yeah. I think, mm. but I don't. And I think uh, people at home that haven't been on tour, they might also think that that uh, on tour, being on tour is a whole day of party and a little bit of playing, while it's really a whole day of waiting and rigging up it's and a, a little lot, bit of playing. It's, it's a lot of waiting and uh, I've been mm. watching lots of series on my uh, yeah. iPad because, mm. you know, I like to, you know, just uh, need to occupy my mind, and it's a lot of practical things, like you said, and especially for me because I'm like uh, I always have to be uh, building up the drums. I mean, setting up the drums and shit like that. But uh, yeah, and, and, and next time I'll try to get into a more healthy routine because I've been sleeping a bit too much, and uh, yeah, but sleeping does also help you not getting sick. Yeah, you know. So that's true. I mean, I, I. Uh, but oh, I no, but I, I, oversleeping is not no, no. It's not necessary. No, no, no. But I think uh, to me, it's uh, I've been more and more like focused on being healthy on tour. Uh, it's just because it's so exhausting if you're mm. not. I think. But some people manage to just go for the party touring style. I don't. I don't know about you. <laughs> Be well, honest, be honest, <laughs> Luis. I've been partying a bit too much, I guess, but uh, at the same time, you know, uh, I still had some. Uh, I have a couple of uh, rules. Ah, okay. Like, uh, I mean, sometimes I break the, those rules, but mm -hmm. I, I haven't been smoking any cigarettes since the beginning of the tour. I mean, mm -hmm. I try to, but sometimes, <laughs> like when it's really late, I start smoking again. But uh, a part of that, yeah, I've just been trying to get to bed around three or four, mm -hmm. not after that, but some nights, obviously. 